Hey everybody, I'm Dan, and welcome back to the Rock Nerd Radio Show. I'm continuing with my full wave reviews, overviews of the um, Marvel Knights Minus One Build-A-Figure Wave. And today we're going to be doing a Which Is Better comparison. We are going to compare the new Fist Ninja with a uh, very similar mold, the previously released Hand Ninja. So let's uh, dive into this and figure out if we can't decide which is better. Come geek out with us on the Rock Nerd Radio Show. All right, welcome to this edition of Which Is Better. And normally my first round is the paint and overall appearance round. And yeah, that's no different for this one. Uh, we are looking at the Hand Ninja, of course, on the left here and the Fist Ninja on the right. And I will say, I was un originally under the impression that they were the exact same mold. Uh, I'm wrong on that. The arms are the same, but the torsos are different, which results in the hand ninja being just a little taller. Uh, they are a little cut differently, as you can tell in areas like the, uh, the shoulders. And uh, looking at the legs, I feel like they might be different as well. Maybe that's just the way they're standing, but um, th there is that to note. So there is some different parts here. Hand Ninja also has like the skirt, while the Fist Ninja has like the uh, the piece hanging down, like the skirt piece hanging down. So uh, anyway, now that that is out of the way, let's talk about the paint and overall appearance. You know, I'm looking at the Fist Ninja, and in person, this the the dark colors are gray. Um, they're not quite black. I do like that you have like the fist symbol on this figure, but um, you know the reds look fine. Everything looks fine, but. This is meant to go with the Daredevil and Elektra uh, fist versions, and I feel like the colors are not nearly as dark, so uh, it doesn't fit quite as well. Whereas this one is just a regular old hand ninja, but there is some great uh, color distinctions in the figure. You can also see those really piercing green eyes, like zombie eyes of the hand ninjas there. Um, I like that the wrist wraps are darker red as well as the boots. Uh, there's some nice black on the belt here. Um, and then, of course, you have the sheath, which is done up in nice black and silver. So um, there is some difference in the paint, obviously, on these two. And uh, for me, I think the original Hand Ninja wins out on the paint and overall appearance. You know, the more uniform kind of red with a little splash of color, to me, looks better than the uh, the black and gray. This almost looks like... like, like yeah. I mean, they, they're meant to be like a secret army of ninjas. So it looks like an army inspired deco, um, which isn't a bad thing. But when I'm thinking about like a, a horde of ninjas, I'm, I'm going with the hand ninjas. That's what they are. That's what they've always looked like in my mind. So uh, the hand ninjas went out for round one. The second round, as it always is, is about the articulation. And because they have the same legs and arms, the articulation is the same there. Uh, there are a couple key differences I want to look at, though. First being in the uh, the body of the figure. So because um, they have different torsos, I do want to point out that the Fist Ninja has a, uh, at like not an ab crunch, I guess it would be a stomach crunch here. And then at the abdomen, they can kind of rotate and go up and down, although it is a little tight. I do want to point out that because of the uh, this kind of skirt piece, not the skirt piece going around, their leg movement is not inhibited at all. They can kick fully out just like that, and uh, their legs can go sideways uh, as much as the mold will allow. So it still, still kicks out pretty nicely to the side. Uh, my Hand Ninja, um, because of the, the way that it's done, it is a similar style, like stomach crunch, but you don't get a lot of movement. And then you do have this, you know, abdomen rotation or, you know, midsection rotation that... You, I, I don't understand why they gave the same on both. You don't really get a lot out of either. But because of the skirt piece, the legs, they can kick out, but not quite all the way. The skirt does get in the way, and uh, they can kick out just about the same as the Fist Ninja. So this is kind of a tough round to call because the articulation is pretty much the same. But just because the, of the little extra leg articulation we get in the Fist Ninja because of like the difference in the skirt piece, I have to give round two to, to the Fist Ninja. My third round is about the accessories that the figures come with, and we're gonna start with the Fist Ninja. The Fist Ninja has some really neat accessories that uh, that come with it. Um, first off, it does have this kind of like sickle weapon um, with the handle done up in red, as you can kind of see there. 
Um, so that is nice, but this is a reuse from what we got with the original Hand Ninja. They also have a sword, um, again, with that handle done up in that, that kind of dark red. Uh, similar, if not the same, to what we got with the Hand Ninja. They have, it has two weapon holding hands. So uh, there are these kind of grippy hands, as you can see here, which, uh, you know, are required to grip weapons. And they also, the Hand Fist Ninja, rather, also has this really, really cool alternate head, which is a skull, like hooded head. This looks really cool. I'm gonna swap some of the parts out real quick so you can kind of see what this looks like. All right, now with this additional skull head on, this figure does look pretty menacing. One thing that's always kind of bothered me about all the ninja figures in Marvel Legends, whether it be hand or fist, is that they really only have weapon storage for the sword, and it is easy to miss where the weapon storage on the Fist Ninja is, but there is a little tiny pouch right here that you can slide the sword into if you want. Um, not my favorite look, because then you kind of have a sword um, sticking out like in the back of the figure. So uh, I'm gonna, of course, have my ninjas holding their weapons. And as you're probably used to, yes, you just you know slide it right into the hand. But um, this looks pretty neat, I got to admit. The hood is a separate piece, so if you wanted to just have a skull-headed ninja, without a hood, you could. So uh, kind of neat for the Fist Ninja, but let's take a look at the Hand Ninja and uh, figure out what else we have going on with that. So looking back at the Hand Ninja, it does have a sword, which I kind of already mentioned the, the Fist Ninja having, handled done up in black though, and uh, there is sword storage, so it has a nice sheath on the back that you can just slide the sword into if you don't want the Ninja to hold it. Um, the Ninja also, the Hand Ninja also has these two additional hands, which are kind of like these open kung fu, like hand of death type hands, which look pretty neat. And of course they easily swap in and out. You just pull the hands right off. The hand ninja has two of these sickle looking weapons, which is neat. Again, black handles. And uh, I like that there are two here because he does have two weapon wielding hands so they can both go in the hands. Um, that means that the sword does have to stay in the sheath if you're doing that, but uh, and again, kind of like my complaint with all of these uh, ninjas is that if I want him to hold a sword and one of these sickle weapons, uh, there's nowhere for me to stick the other weapon on the character. I don't think there's anything that I can hook it into or anything. I mean, if I really wanted to like stick it in the, in the sheath, I guess I could, but that looks a little weird. So um, you always might have like something kind of sitting off to the side uh, when it comes to these weapons, but uh, the, the handheld weapons are a really cool piece for both these ninjas. I'm gonna put both up. I'm gonna talk about one more thing that both these ninjas come with. Now, I don't normally do this in a Witch is Better review, but I do wanna talk about the Build-A-Figure parts that these ninjas come with. The Fist Ninja comes with the left arm for the Mindless One. There is a interchangeable hand here that you can use to have a, uh, to have a fist if you'd rather have the Mindless One punching rather than having the open hand. So uh, that is something that is there and it's, it's neat to have. I'm not going to deny it. But the Hand Ninjas, in the best bit of marketing the Marvel Legends team has ever done in my mind, came with a pair of Stiltman stilts. And uh, they are quite large here. They are, they are quite long. And uh, the ingenious thing about the stilts is that the more Hand Ninjas you got, the taller your Stiltman can be. Now, it just so happens that I have a about 10 hand ninjas. We're gonna talk about why I have so many as this review goes on, but it led to me having a lot of extra stilts. In fact, I kind of started trading other builder figure pieces I didn't want for extra stilts that I would see people on like Facebook selling or trading. And uh, my stilt man is actually about 10 feet tall if I wanted to put all the stilt extensions on him because they do extend. So you just kind of pop off the uh the the bottom piece from this piece and you can just kind of add stilt extensions to your heart's content and uh yeah i have a pretty darn tall stilt man if i really wanted to uh normally on my display it's just one pair of stilts because that's all that can fit in one of these cubes behind me but the added cool feature with this builder figure piece really drives home the value to me for the hand ninja so although they both have cool accessories although that skull head is awesome I think the Hand Ninja is going to win this one because the more you get, the taller you can make your stilt man. Round four, we are clashing over the price 
And at the moment, the Fist Ninja is still pretty new from this recording. Uh, it sells for about $25 a figure. I'm sure you might be able to find people offloading this. So if you want to get some more, you might be able to, but I'm not really sure where his value is going to go at the moment. As of this recording as well, I did mention that I have like 10 or 12 hand ninjas a couple minutes ago. The reason why I have so many is originally, I just got three. I wanted three so I could have a little bit of an extra tall stilt man. And then um, these started popping up, these hand ninjas started popping up in places like Ross and, uh, and Ollie's at a price tag of like 11 bucks. And quite honestly, on eBay and stuff, I noticed that the red hand ninjas still sell for about $11. So quite honestly, they're a better find in my opinion. Um, you know, as I said, I started with three hand ninjas. A friend of mine lives near an Ollie's. I'd go, I'd buy four to pop. Um, so I ended up having a whole bunch of hand ninjas for my display to have Daredevil and other street level heroes fighting just because they were so easy to get when you're essentially paying half price for the figures. Um, especially these army builders, I thought it was a no brainer. I really like Daredevil and his supporting characters. So having a bunch of hand ninjas was a no brainer for me. So uh, round four goes to the original hand ninja, just because I think it's a lot easier to get at the moment. All right, and finally, my last round is the display compatibility round. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I've said often that I love the Chips Ardesky run of Daredevil. I really like his Daredevil run. I thought it was a, the story was great. I love the Elektra and the Daredevil that came out looking like they looked during his run of Daredevil. And this does somewhat match their uniforms, but for the life of me, I don't remember seeing a lot of these ninjas looking like this, as our Fist Ninja does, in that story. Um, I'm sure they were there, but they didn't stick out to me like just the regular hand ninjas do every time you see the hand ninjas. Um, on top of that, I don't remember seeing a bunch of skull-faced ninjas in, in the Daredevil run. It's a cool idea, but uh, I don't remember seeing a whole bunch of them. One thing I do remember is that in one of the Daredevil runs when they introduced a character named Ten Fingers, um, there was a hand ninja called the Fist who was sent out to like kind of, you know, go up against Ten Fingers, kind of stop him. So in a way, this could act as that Fist character because it is close to how it looked like if, if my memory is serving me correctly. Um, these hand ninjas, however, look like what I would expect a hand ninja to look like. Um, if you want to have a big Daredevil fighting hand ninja display, these are probably going to be the ones I'm going to go with. Not necessarily this one. This one could be like a commander almost because it's got, you know, a different head if you want. It's got a different uh, suit style. This one is more like the army builder, or army builder, you know, soldier type of hand ninja. So what's better for my display and having a scene where I could have Daredevil beating up a bunch of hand ninjas is going to be our original Stiltman Wave hand ninja. So uh, this wins out, the hand ninja wins out on this edition of which is better with a score of four to one. So there we have the results of which is better this time around. Gotta give the props to the hand ninja. I think in my opinion, it is the better army builder. Uh, while the fist ninja is cool, I just don't see it being as uh, iconic, let's say, as the hand ninja. And yes, my cat is now hanging out behind me, so there we go. Anyway, hey, thanks for checking this video out. Let me know in the comments what you think about the uh, Hand Ninja or the Fist Ninja. Are you army building? Do you not care? Uh, but let me know. And until next time, hey, I've been Dan. You've been pretty awesome. I'll see you around. Come geek